Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Governor91, and today we are continuing on with Max Payne. Let's just jump straight in. Well, let me look in the wrong fucking way. Today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Oh well. That's me screwed. See little features like that it just weren't in other games. This one rocks out with great. Not good. Fucking great. I guess I'm going out the window. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna. Hey. Ah! Oh! Ah! Tried to shoot those canisters, but. Nope. Oh, here we go. Hold it. Thank you. There we go. Junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Okay, I'm just gonna say for the record, he had a gun. And also, I'm already wanted for murder, so fuck it. It's pain! Got him down! Okay, that worked out well for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so it was just shooting off the fucking lock even though I shot it several times. Piece of crap! <laughs> oh, careful! It might kick back! Got him down! against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. Take whatever steps necessary. Oh. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Speak for yourself, Max. I was in. gun of you and uh, let's just continue on with our assault on uh, all junkies apparently Whack. found Muerte's room. Oh my god. I had just moved Muerte over. Muerte received a letter. I just moved over thinking I better be ready for a fight, but that worked in my favor. Investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. I was lucky at me. Just big, smart brains, that's what I say. That's not what I meant, but okay. Right, um... Uh. 
I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Molotov cocktails and all. Wait, what? <gasps> Fuck. That's fair. That's fair. I hope it's not too far back, though. Oh, it's really not that far. Dead before he even knew it. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Let's grab this shit that I got before. Okay. Okay, so now. Your diary on the table. Oh, fuck. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. one is working. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. Alright. 
did. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. That's fair. froze there for a second before it did anything. Yo! Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. I take the bat, I did take the bat. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in LA? They can't even get it. What? Okay, so this is sketchy as all fucking hell. That's shooting, but listen, as long as you kind of zigzag, you're all right. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off. off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. Gun him down. That's it. Nice, clean. I suffered more damage by going in. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Yeah, I think we're past that. Don't know why, but let's just say we're past that. More Molotovs, I like. But I haven't had to use one yet, which is uh, interesting. I'll figure out if I ever need to. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Fucking seven. I must fucking need them now in the next minute. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mmm, mmm. But no, they sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Where they went for his gun. Oh, you 
Why didn't the foot is there fire? Candy, I'd rather not kill you. Candy, you seemed like such a nice lady. Why'd you gotta go out like that, huh? Time that it took me to come out there, you could have pulled up your trousers. We both know that. I'm going back to my shotgun. The antique switchboard was still in use. Oh, nice. Gave me a hint about something here. That is. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Okay, so... Where did I come? Oh, okay, this way? that bullet time thing right anyways. Where the fuck am I supposed to go then? Wasn't I just here? Is this not the same place? Oh. Uh, 
Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Alright, well let's find out then. were depressing. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Read. Hey guys, um, uh. okay, to know. I think I died. I think I'm dead. Can I die? Don't trust junkies, especially in a game. Actually, no, especially in real life, but definitely in a game. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Okay, the music's got all very 90s, so that's how you know it's good. A 
beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Eh? No. Eh? Forget it. Someone had left the key on the shelf. Oh, nice. It's <laughs> me being an aggressive shithead. Got me into a good situation. <laughs> I wasn't taking- oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, got that. Any painkillers in this one? Yes, there we go. Fuck. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Oh, yes. It destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it right here. And, uh, yeah. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. <laughs> yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. Yeah, it's freezing. And I don't feel fine. Anyways. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm just gonna I'm my butt off. Anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And as always, kisses. <laughs>